Okay. We're live in Facebook. I mean, YouTube. Ah, I screw up my first two seconds of, of the film. Okay, I'm going to let some of my chatters gather. And then we'll get started. If you're watching the recording, you might want to skip through a few minutes. Um, I have a couple experiments here to show on <clears throat> my patina papers that I did, and I tried my hand at coffee staining some papers. So I think I'm going to try to print some things on, on these tonight. <clears throat> There's Joan. Hey, Joan. Um... I did a couple experiments yesterday. I used both of the different products that I have that I use on doing the patina papers. Hey, Eileen and Christy, welcome. Um, Eileen, who are you calling a hoe? <laughs> I'm assuming that was a typo. <laughs> so I did side-by-side -side tests. I used the Japanese font stencil that Sandra got me that she got on Wish.com. Hey, Joanne, Geraldine, AJ, Kathy, Mary Ellen. Welcome, everybody. Um, <laughs> so I tried, um, this, I did the same thing. I used the black deco art spoil that Xander sent me. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Braddy. Um, she has this in her shop, which is paintandpaperstudio.com. It's deco foil metallics. Um, it's like a it's like a 3D gel that you can put through a stencil, right, and get these patterns because uh, it holds its it holds its um, you know the depth of it. What do I want to say? Um, hey, Jean, Dee Dee, that's a new name. Welcome, Jamie. Hello, hey, Linda. I hear you. Got to keep cooking. So here's what this looks like. It's almost a, a dark charcoal, but it's got a little sheen to it. It's really pretty. And it goes through a stencil really nicely. Um, so I did that with the Japanese font uh, stencil on both pieces of the red rosin paper, right, with the black deco foil gel. And then I painted on one coat of copper paint. Uh, on this side, I used the Modern Masters brand of patina finishes. Now, this stuff's usually made to go on. Hey, Deb. Oh, you're new to jelly. It's a jelly plate. We'll do some of that in a little bit. Welcome. Glad you got, got here live. And throw any questions out there, um, Dee Dee, if you'd like. And, and put them in all caps so they kind of grab my attention. Hey, Shauna. <clears throat> so anyway, I did. Um, these are made. Most people would use them on metal or on, you know, more harder uh, three-dimensional kind of surfaces. Not a piece of paper. But I do them on paper because that's what I work with. And it works. Um, I noticed that, well. I don't use, there's a primer layer that if you're going to do this on metal or on um, some kind of stoneware or whatever hard surface, wicker, whatever, that there's a primer coat to use. Hey, Stephanie, um, there's a primer coat you put down first, and then you put down one layer of the metal paint of your choice of color. Uh, I use the copper and the blue because I like this finish. Um, and then... Um, you let that dry and then you put down a second layer of paint. And while the paint is still wet, you add the spray. And this is the aging solution that makes this process happen. So, you know, if you had an old copper roof on a farmhouse or pennies that lay on the ocean floor for a while, they'll still. <laughs> you always make an entrance. Bless your heart. Hey, Tara. <laughs> So um, you can see the paint was brass or brought copper. Hello, copper paint down there where it's sticking out on the side. But this is what happens when 
you spray the um, the activator on here and let it sit. Now this started to turn pretty quickly. And I really like the way this one came out. I like, let me try to show you up close and see if this bad boy will focus. There we go. You can see there's a lot of texture. Um, I like how the, the turquoise kind of pulled around the raised letters or characters. Right? I really like that. And some of them even look shiny, like it's showing through the brat. The, copper paint, right? Like that one. I did wipe back the first layer of paint off the stenciling, trying to get that black to show through. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Jan. Um, but then I went over it with a second layer of paint and I thought, oh, it's, it's too, it's too hard. It's, they're not raised that high and to take a baby wipe and try to hit that and not wipe the rest of the paint off is really tricky. But anyway, this is with the Modern Masters brand. And I did the same thing on this piece of paper with the Swelligant brand, which is this product. And right off the bat, I noticed the difference in the color of the copper paint. This is more like a copper penny. This is more like a ready bronze to me. Um, but they call it copper. And that activates, I use the um, this is, a, I put some in a spray bottle. It's their brand of activator and it's called Tiffany Green Rust, I think it's called. So this is how theirs came out. And I'm surprised at how green some of this came out using the Tiffany Blue. And I threw some of the dye down here. I like the dye that, see how granulated this came out? I don't like that, that look. I mean, it looks really crusty, but it just looks like, I dropped something on there that shouldn't have been on there, right? Um, hey, Sherry. So this is what I was trying to reproduce. Let me show you in here. Well, somewhere. I know you're in here. Here. You can see I used the same characters there. There I was able to brush back a little bit more of the paint off of there. So some of that bronziness came through. But see how this blue came out here? And down here? That's what I was trying. And I used the same product. But that's what I got this time. I can't figure it out. Hey, Dot. Hey, Stephanie. Dice hi already. Um. This is Red Rosin Paper, Dee Dee. It's a, a product you can get in Home Depot or Lowe's. Hey, Z. Um, and it's used in the flooring industry. And it's really, it's pretty sturdy. It's pretty heavy. It tears really easily and pretty straight. Like I tore this piece apart. Well, it wasn't from there. Maybe this way. And it tears pretty straight on its own. Um, no, um, hey, Amalia. I'm not particularly wild about the color on its own, but I usually cover it up when I use it for anything. But anyway, um, so those are the difference of the two products and how they come out doing the same thing. I'm partial to this one. So let me get these chemicals out of the way. We're not going to do any more of these. Um, <sighs> hey, Susan. Hey, Colleen. I move these out of my way and I was, I was playing around with some um, trying to tea or coffee stain some papers today. Some I like more than others for sure. So this, this one is one of my favorites the way it came out. I like the way I got on some of the drips. I got that darker, the darker rim around there where it settled. I like that kind of fresh splatted look. Um, this is resume paper, uh, South Worth resume paper. It's got a high cotton content in it. Actually, it's 100% cotton. I got it on, on Amazon. It's 32 pound, 100% cotton, 100 sheets. So I'm going to do more of those. Because that they came out my favorite. I'm going to try to run these through the printer today 
um, and print some stuff on them. I know, right? And this was, um, Eileen, this was um, my regular Starbucks French roast <laughs> that I put on here. So I, I thought I had some instant coffee, but I, I remember taking it to my mom. So I didn't have any to make it really strong. Did you order any tissue from Zazzle? <laughs> Not yet. I did look. I saw Eileen's like, I hardly ever go on Twitter. If you guys are trying to reach me, Twitter's the last place. But I just, I posted that I was going to come on live on Twitter. And I happened to see Eileen's link. And I said, she's trying to spend more of my money, girl. <laughs> did they have some really cool stuff? I'm guessing. I'm going to have to go back and look. And Zazzle, you know what? Zazzle is where, what did I get at Zazzle? I got something at Zazzle where I printed my, I uploaded my own artwork. Um, actually, did I get my computer skin from Zazzle maybe? Huh. I don't know. I got something from there, but you could, yeah. So is that what you guys did? Um, Debbie, did you, did, um, and Eileen, do you upload your own artwork and get their tissue printed? Cause I will be all over that stuff. Let me tell you hands are freezing down here and I got the heater right next to me. Dave came down early and fired it up for me. Um, this is let me see if it'll, yeah, watermark. Checking for the watermarks. That's not, that's not. These are onion skin right here. I'm going to try to pull all those out. Uh, that's not, that's That feels like, oh, that's the tracing paper, I think. Tracing paper, tracing paper. This is really transparent, though. And onion, here's the other piece of onion skin. So these are the onion skin. No macro photo of wood and patina. Tissue. Oh, they have patina, too. <clears throat> I love patina stuff. Hey, cat. Welcome. But anyway, this is the um, the onion skin, and you can see it's got some permanent creases in there. I even put this under a heavy my heavy cutting board when it was just damp to try to dry. But I I'm hoping this will still go through my printer. <laughs> I might get an epic paper jam. I'm not sure. But look how clear this came out. How transparent once it got wet. This was that um, out of that pad of paper I showed you guys the other day. I got on that. I call it the fake onion skin. I got this on Amazon a while back. And it came, oh, the label pulled off of it. The, the label, hang on, here's one that was still, I got two of them. See where it says onion skin? That's one when I searched um, Amazon for onion skin. I found the same onion skin on Amazon, 25 for $19.99. The same, like the, um, the uh, vintage stuff, uh, Shauna, is that what you're talking about? Or this? Did you get it yet? That you can tell that it's really the old stuff? The mill stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's kind of $25. No, 25 sheets for $20. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if that's the vintage stuff either, Eileen. I hope that it is, but I'm not I'm not sure it is. I'll have to look at it. I don't know if I can tell or not. But anyway, this is why I bought this because it said onion skin and me not knowing about onion skin yet, I thought this was onion skin. So um I got it and then I looked at it and it says tracing pad. And it is more like tracing paper. It's very thin kind of translucent on its own, right? And um, it, I mean, it works. It's good. It's fun stuff to use. But that's what this is, the three of those. And then I get a couple white sheets of, um, and I was hoping for more drops. This just kind of bled through the paper and just made it um, kind of beige. <laughs> and this was... Uh, the Japanese calligraphy paper, two different kinds. One, how oh, is that one short? I don't know. 
this was Tomoe River, and that worked kind of good too with the dark edges on those drops. Which company, um, same company, did it come from, Shauna? Yeah, Jan, that's, did you get it on eBay? That's about the only way you can really find it. This is obviously a piece of graph paper. And I, I don't know if it's just my hand, my technique of doing this isn't is great to get those splotchiness or if it's just the way the paper worked. But I, um, I was on Pinterest the other day and... Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, what was I gonna do? I lost my, tr oh, I know. Hold on. I'm gonna go into my images that I downloaded and see what images I can down, I can try to print on this stuff that I, <clears throat> Actually, you know what I should do? I've been practicing with my new brushes. <laughs> I was down here the other day. Let me see which one of these I like. Some of them I like better than others. That's Tomorrow River. I think this one. I'm going to print this one. I'm going to try to print this on a piece of this for my first go. Oh, you hoard it, D.D. That stuff's hard to find, and it's expensive when you do. Okay, I'm going to walk away from chat for a minute. I'm only a couple feet away, but I'm going to try to put this on the glass, my my scripting on the glass. And I'm going to put the onions, I mean, the um, coffee stained paper in the printer drawer. Everybody cross your friend fingers. This copy document black. All right, we'll see what happens. And I'll take a second to go through this. Oh, see, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Although it seems to be copying something on somewhere. Oh no, maybe not. That's what I like a live printer jam. Oh, something's happening. Oh, wait, all is not lost. There we go. That came out of the printer. All right. That was on the resume paper. Ha, I know, Eileen, right? I thought, uh-oh, that can't be good. <laughs> hey, CB. Hey, Gail. Um, yeah, but it did work. All right, cool. Um. I did some with my new brush with the rose gold. Isn't that pretty? Oh my God, I could eat that paint. I'm not going to eat the paint. Don't do that at home. It's just an expression of the yumminess I feel for it. I'm going to try to, let me see. I have some. <laughs> I'm looking through my little stash here. Hey, Shelly. Can you guys hear Dave talking? Oh, he's a loud talker. Bless his heart. Um, let's see. Hang on. Let me do this. I'm going to go into my photos. Sorry, it's just required. <laughs> All photos. Um, let me see what I can print. I don't want to print a whole, or maybe I can print a jelly print on it. A cop, a picture that I took of a jelly print and print that on the tea stain. Coffee stain. Sorry. Wrong beverage. I'm not looking at chat right at the moment. While I rifle through 6,000 photos. 
Um, oh, maybe I'll try to print that on there. Hang on. Hold the phone. All right, I'm going to try to print. Now, let me think. I got to put this in the paper in the tray. I'm going to take this one off the glass and I'm going to print from my computer one of my jelly prints that was the one where we did um, this stamp with the gold embossing powder. Let's see what happens there. Lord only knows. Let's see, file, print. Oh, that'll look cool if it comes out like that. Print, fill. Let's do that one. Print. And, oh, not black and white. I want it to go color. Okay. Print. Okay. Let's see what happens with that one. So hang on. We're probably going to hear some god awful sounds out of the printer. <laughs> hey, Ann. Welcome. Give me a minute to warm up my hands. <laughs> so here's one. It wasn't a total disaster. That seemed to go through a lot easier. I didn't hear any. Oh, of course it covered up all the coffee stain. Hello. <laughs> Who didn't see that coming? But it printed kind of cool. It even looks kind of metallic on there. See, that's where I mess up. I'm not good at this yet. I'm going to get good at it, but I'm not good at it yet because a normal person would have known that, yes, this dark copy is going to cover up all this. Hello. I need something a little. A little. Um, oh, hang on. Yes, I did, Eileen. Um, and that's what I started to look for. Then I went to my photos. I'm going to go look at that. I got a lot of that. Which ones do I want to print? I need something um, that's light and not going to cover up all that goodness. Oh, what's this look like? Um, you know what? Let's do this. Let's try this on this. I mean, see, that just doesn't look great. I like it when it's spottier looking. But I'm going to print one on here. Hang on. Just for shits and giggles, as we say. Go ahead, Taylor. Write me up. I don't care. It was appropriate and used. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm going to send this one to the printer. Oh, hell, that didn't sound good. I didn't even send it yet. Mm, mm, that can't be good. Well, what the hell? I'll just give it a go and see what happens. This one came out really a good copy of it, though. Look at, hang on, let me get big back here so I can find my window. See what you guys are looking at. You can really see, like, all the little divots in the embossing powder that came across. It really kind of looks 3D on there. Doesn't it look real? It looks real. <laughs> Whew, my hands are freezing. Patty, hope that's not going out. On you. It's a brand new printer. I hope so too, if that's what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, well, it, it was having trouble doing something with that because I hadn't even pushed print yet. Yeah, see the coffee, this on the coffee stain, even this isn't great. I think I'm going to try one more and then we'll do something else. This one's a little wrinkly. That could get nasty. Let me find a good image to try to put on here. Oh, the ROs, at least one of them are here. 
or you're not going to creativation this year. Let me go back and look at some of these papers. Eileen, do you, what, what one would you suggest? Um, the grunge patina ones, that would all be too dark, I think. Bohemian gold. What do I have there? Oh, let's see what that looks like. Hey, Devin. All right, here we go. One more. Putting it in the drawer. And let's try with just this pattern on here. Oh, maybe I should do it in the black instead of the gold. Hang on, let me see if I have that one. Hold on. Oh, but that's the black background with the gold. That's going to zoop it all out of there. Hang on. Let's try this one like I initially started to. And we'll see what happens. All right. Hey, Taylor. Welcome. I'm trying to print on coffee stained papers that I did, but I'm not too smart about it because I copied that dark print over top of the, the light colored coffee stains. Didn't work. Didn't do the math in my head. This one is real pretty on the screen, but kind of in person, to tell you the truth. Oh, you know what? I want to try a piece of the onion skin that's really, really um, transparent. Or the tracing paper, rather. This one's really transparent. You can even see the color of my fingers through there. But you know what? I might, on this one, I might just go back to the scripting and put the scripting on this one again. Because that, that's just black on there. And that, eh. See, that was a gold pattern. That's okay. Not great. I don't think I have the eye for this yet. <laughs> of what to put on what. I think this requires some more practice. Let me go with this edge and side and see what happens with this. Yeah. Mercy. Oh, that's longer. Okay, hang on. Well, I don't know how that's going to work, but. Oh, my. Uh, you know what? I'm going to cut some of this off on my paper cutter. Hang on. Not try to tempt fate. All right, that one's going in. Close the tray. Okay, black print. All right, let's see what this one does, and then we'll we'll move on to something else. Hi, Pearl. That's a new name. Welcome. <laughs> so, oh, that did not sound good. My. Remove the paper from the printer and load long paper. Or make sure the paper is oriented correctly. Paper too short. I just cut it off so it would fit in the thread. What the hell? Oh, that's not good. Oh, my goodness. Well, you've seen it here live, folks. All right. Well, we're just going to have to deal with that after I stream. <laughs> I don't want to be taken apart my printer. Robin says she doesn't use carry sheets on that stuff. Hey, April. Um, hey, Button. I know. I think I might have. 
Might have got a little jammer, jammeroo in there. Oh, I got one printed on here anyway. Oh. Okay, let's. I do like this one. Well, and here's some other. I wonder what will ever happen with those. <laughs> All right, here's these. Um, okay, um, let me get rid of this. might be good enough to do some tape, some tape out of. Gala. <laughs> Are you ready? We make some tape out of this. It went so well the last time, I'm just saying. Wish everything tore this easy. How wide is this? All right. I'll try to get that as close to that three as I can. Okay. Take care, Dee Dee. Thanks for dropping in. All right, everybody stand back. Once again, we're going to, oh, you know what I want to do? Hang on. Let's not do that yet. I'm going to go ahead and emboss on here first. Oh, Eileen, did you see the latest? Um, I know. I know, April. <laughs> I got her down now. That's one thing you only hose up once. <laughs> um, I'm doing this to my hands because my hands are freezing. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, Eileen, did you see the new minis from Seth or did you get them all already? I'm going to emboss on it first because it just tends to warp the tape. <laughs> Anne's got a vote of confidence. If nobody else does, it's okay. It's all right. Um, I have some of that one. Let's do... couple of these maybe let's see what color do I want to make them on here the Taos sunset <laughs> I ordered the TG new minis yesterday TGE TGE what are TGE um they're the Seth ones you're talking about Jan, they shipped today. <laughs> of course they did. Hey, Peg. I saw your embossing you did. That was, looked really cool. Oh, duh, duh. I'm with you, Jan. Okay. Wonder what the patina would look like on there. Would that show up much? I do not know. The bronze would look similar, but shiny. This one, I don't know, they're all kind of alike. 
All right, let's just do something, even if it's wrong. All right, let's do this one of Seth's. I love these little minis. They're just real. I don't know. I don't want to necessarily say tribal, but kind of tribal, right? Judy! Hello, my dear. Okay, now I'm trying to keep my eyeball on where that one stopped. So I can try to put another one on here. So I'm going to get three down on this one. And hopefully I get them done in time that it's still sticky and damp. By the time I sprinkle the powder, oh, maybe we'll mix a couple powders. Let's do the sunset. Let me get most of that off to save most of that. And then I'll go back with the bronze, the amber, antique amber. Ancient Amber, sorry. And we'll try to get what we didn't get there. And if a little gets mixed in, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Are you here now? Yes, you're here now. <laughs> but do you know where you are? <laughs> uh, what, what's the question? How far? Oh, I missed the question. Are you talking about Arizona? Oh, one of my um, viewers who told me she has been a lurker for years um, messaged me and said that she's actually um, going to Robin's retreat in April and she'll see us there. So I don't, don't hold me to it. I believe her name was Susan. I answered quite a few messages today. I think her name was Susan. So Susan, if you're lurking... We're looking forward to it. The rest of the girls that are going with me are actually in chat right now. Okay, here we go. This will be subtle because the colors are similar. Sometimes that's what I need, a little subtlety. Not usually my middle name. I am uh, Amalia. And from what I understand, we're sold out. That looks pretty cool. It's subtle, but it's definitely there. And the background is definitely grungy. So that's kind of cool. Let's do this one. <clears throat> Some of that. Yeah, Susan, she's still lurking. <laughs> I pulled you out of the lurk, lurkdom. So Susan Myrick, Myrick, um, in chat now. So Gala, um, that you see is one of my mods. Scraps to Beauty Zandra is one of my mods. And a little creative me is April. And Dragonfly Smiles is Kathy. And they're uh, they're all going with me. So everybody that's going with me, meet Susan. She came out of Lurkdom just for us. <sighs> this one's really hard to see the way I'm using it here on the packaging. This, I'm doing this one kind of blind. This one. 
We'll hope for the best. What's the worst that can happen? You're going to be retiring in just a few months, Jan, right? Let's do some of the turquoise over here. I'm just going to, I'm going to mix that with something too. Let's just do a little bit of that. I guess I'll go back with the amber on this one. Hey, Becky. Everybody keeps asking me when I'm going to retire. If only I knew. When I hit the lottery immediately. <laughs> Our financial guy keeps telling us you could go out today and you'd be fine, but I don't know. It just scares me. I That would mean giving up my salary and immediately eating into my 401k, which is not that magnificent. But he's saying that that will carry me over. I'm not going to take my Social Security until I reach full age, which for me is uh, 66 and six months. I'm, I'll be 63 in April. So I'd be eating strictly out of my 401k for at least three and a half years. I know, right, Monique? Like, let me hook you up with this fraud. Now you redo my numbers. <laughs> but, um, and Dave, he just, uh, he works for the federal government and he got his 14 this past summer. So he wants to work at least another two years to increase his top three. They base their, he's on the old system. So he'll get a, a really nice pension from them. Hey, Regina. Um, um, he's going to um, stay another couple years so that um, he gets his top three up. They'll take, his, they top, take their top three years of salary and average those. And then that's what your retirement is based on for the number of years you're in, um, I think you get 2% for every year and he'll have 40 years. So he'll get 80% of the salary basically. Hey, Rachel, good to see you. So here's how that one came out kind of mixed. I let them kind of blend together. You might, I might make a pot of this stuff and just like mix up all my colors and see what happens. All right, now let's get this out of the way. So anyway, I think I'll at least wait until Dave goes out. I, I just can't walk away from my salary when I like my job. <laughs> Look at me putting it face up. See, I'm only stupid a couple times and I catch on. Right? Gail, I can tell you. Look at that. <laughs> Xandra sent me this honker right here. Oh, Z, stuff I was waiting for finally came in. I have many errands to run with my mom tomorrow, and I'm hoping one of those I can get by the post office and get that stuff on the way to you. Yeah, that's that's my plan, Monique. It's just to keep on plugging. I mean, the only thing that could change that plan is, God forbid, something happens to one of us or or my mom. Um, then I'd have to reevaluate. Um, I'm going to leave this in one piece for now. I'm not sure how if I'm going to cut it long ways, cut one of these out at a time and use them. I don't know. I'm just going to put this in the, in the tape drawer. Ah, oops, that's not it. All right. Okay. So let's, um, 
I really need to clean this desk up. Whew, get scary. Um, Kathy, what was Kathy's good idea? She has some occasionally. Oop, I missed it. Go on back and chat. God forbid I miss a good idea. I've always taken them before to workshops. Oops, I don't know. I might I might have to abandon that and come back later. I'm not sure. Oh, about an ATC. I don't remember seeing anything about that. Um, I don't remember seeing anything about that. Uh, oh, boy. Wouldn't hurt, though. Do we dare try another collage after this cluster? Oh, Lord. Oh, I tried to print off this jelly plate. I just keep getting solid. Uh, I can't get this to pull off. I've cracked it all up. It's really crackled. I'm going to see if I can get that off of there. Hang on. Um, yeah, I'll be 63 in April. Like I said, I've been working since I was 13. Hello. Now, I didn't work full time when I was 13, but I did work 12 hour days every weekend at a beach on the Chesapeake Bay that friends of ours owned. I was a beach girl, counter girl. And then eventually, then the next year when I was legal, I um, um, I'm going to put this on another page just in case it comes out good. Actually, I think that's too much paint. I think I'm going to get rid of a little bit of that paint there. Um, then I, uh, when I turned 14, I worked seven days a week there and actually started to live with them. My mom would come and get me every so many days to um, flip my laundry and go see my family. And they, oh, if that comes out like that, that'll be cool. Look at the crackles showing the turquoise through the crackles. Can you see it? Maybe a little bit. There you go. Um, Hey, Pat. Hey, Randy. So, um, yeah, then I worked all summer long until I was 19 there at that beach. When I was 16, I got my lifeguard certification and I life subs for the lifeguard when he was away or on break or whatever. And look, it's still not coming off. Although that looks kind of cool. Oh, you're very stubborn. Huh. The crackles came through. But the, the bronze paint is still stuck on there. Hi, Jackie. Need to, that's my retirement plan is to win the lottery. I'm just saying. That is the plan. So I'm going to try to, let me try to get this off one of these little sheets. So it's not a big loss if it doesn't come off. I'm bound to determine to get this off of here. Oh, I did get, I did find three jar bottles of champagne gold. And see, for everybody that's, that's tried to help me out and show me the links to champagne for Martha Stewart, it's a gold and it's called champagne. It is very different from champagne gold. This is the old one that she doesn't make anymore. The one that's called Champagne is a gold color, but it's not called Champagne Gold. That's the difference. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit. Trying to get a little thin layer going. Uh, 
Oh no, you're having trouble staying connected. Ah, frustrating. So, yeah, if I hit the lottery, then my retirement plan will start kicking in. <laughs> Until then, I know you can get all the champagne you want now. <laughs> so let me try to show you the difference. Here's champagne. Here's champagne gold. So the champagne is like a champagne color, kind of taupey, right? And here's the champagne gold. It's goldy. Right? So that's, they are different. In April. What retreat in April? Oh, I don't, I missed that. We're going to uh, Robin McClendon's retreat in February. Five of us are going, Randy. Um, it, it's a huge difference. Yeah. And because it's, you know, looks like gold. Ah, look, just little tiny bits are coming off and the crackles are showing with texture, but it's not, um, I'm going to try it again. A little rascal. I'll do the champagne on this one. Maybe I just got to get the plate lubed up a little bit. See that one, how it's almost uh, opaque and uh, almost a silvery look to it? That's the difference. Oh, Rachel, you're on the wait list. Well, you never know. Now, with my luck with travel, ask the girls. They're going with me. With my luck with travel, you'll be taking my place. Oh. I was only ever in Arizona once, and that was in 2005 for a work trip. And it wasn't near there. We were in Scottsdale. And I did get to go. A little bit more of what's coming up. One more. And then I'm going to stop. <gasps> oh, too much. Too much paint. I'm going to put some of that over that. But you almost can't see this. It's almost... Completely, it's almost like an interference gold. It's almost transparent, but on a when you flip it a certain way, you can see it. Wonder if you could take the champagne and mix some cream or gold pigment. Um, somebody told, I think it was Xandra, told me that. People are saying that if you mix the new champagne with something that fell over down there, is that one of them? With, no, that's rose gold. Rose chrome. Uh, light gold. Somebody said if you mix the, the light gold and the champagne, which are two new colors together, that that kind of gets you close to that. We'll try that out. I've been wondering that myself. No, soul is um, Rachel. Regina. That's Rachel. Okay. This is the last chance. Last chance here. That's kind of a cool little page. All right, good enough. Good enough for me. So let's see. What are we going to do? Put these over in the pile. Um, let's just do a collage. Oh, no, we're going to try these, aren't we? See? Squirrel. 
um, let me do a side by side. I'm just going to drag a piece of deli over here. All right, so here's the champagne gold. I'm wasting the precious paint that's no longer available just for you guys. All right? You can barely see it. It's just a sheen. And then we'll mix. We'll go have these on this. Hey, Chris. Oops, it's hard to get just a little teeny tiny bit out of here. It's half-ish. Um, let me mix this up a little bit. All right, so we might need to let this dry to show completely, but this is a little shinier and a little more opaque. And this is the original champagne gold here. So I can see a difference. I think you guys can see that too, right? This is this is much shinier um, than that one is. It's a real sheer layer. Let's go a little little booger in there. Um, put that aside. Maybe I'll script on that and incorporate that into something. Champagne gold, champagne gold, and glazing medium. Huh. All right, so let's, let's, I don't know, do we dare? <laughs> a little gun shy doing a, doing a collage on stream after the last one, which I blame fully on Gala, to be honest. Um, I think I might, and I am switching to a bigger book. I might keep this book as my patina paper book because I got this potato paper on every one of them that's in here. I got a piece of that stuff. Um, so I might keep that stuff in here. But I'm going to, um, if anybody is on Robin's Patreon, you can see where she's talking about her next project. Um, and she's going to go to a bigger format. So I looked on Amazon and I got a set of two Arteza eight and a half by 11 um, sketchbooks that have, I think it's an 80 or 90 pound weight. Um, so we'll see how that goes. All right. So let's, let's see, what do I want to do? I just want to have a little snippet of something. This kind of goes with that. All right, if I want to pull some more of that in. Or do I want to contrast? It's also got crackles in it. Oh, you did get them, Kathy? That's, that's good to know. Good to know. Get the big stamp out, the totem. Get the big stamp out this. No totems. Totem, no totem. <laughs> it's a wonder I don't go completely loco. I think I might just... See, that looks a lot like that background. Both of those do. That may, They may look too much alike.
Oh, <laughs> oh that stamp. Oh, that totem. Now I get it. Mm. The special stamp. Oh, God. Oh, I might have to incinerate that one. This is kind of a cool... This has kind of cool bits in it. A lot of that bronzy stuff. Maybe I'll just grab a hunk of this. And I want to leave some white space this time because I came to the realization when I was doing the bigger version of this, which this has always been my favorite collage in this book. It just really speaks to me. And when I did the bigger version that I did, I think, well, I didn't do it on stream, um, but I showed it on stream finished. Um, and, uh, I, it came to, I came to the realization that I like white space and I hardly ever left any white space on any of these other pages. So I'm going to try to be mindful of that. Artesia, my penny just bought great night of sleep. Yeah, on Amazon, Xandra, it was um, two journals. They're, I think, 100 pages each. Eight and a half by 11 Arteza. And I think there were, it's $22, I think. No, it's not watercolor paper. It's like a 90, 80 or 90 pound weight. Um, I think they just call it sketch paper. I don't remember. Kathy will know more than me. Function of light. That's a new name. Welcome. Yeah, so I think... Um, Oh, you know what I want to put in here? Hang on. Let me go. Xander sent me some really cool paper recently. Hang on. Let me... Oh, Lord. My head's all jacked up. <laughs> Walking like an old lady. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I just realized I am. Lord have mercy. Um, look at this. Oh, it, it is watercolor paper? Huh. The one I looked at didn't say that. I wonder if they make a watercolor one and they make a sketch one. This one was called Sketch, and it didn't... I don't remember reading anything about watercolor paper on there. But look at this. Hello, lover. Um, I wonder if I should use this on this one and tear out a little jagged piece to go down the side of this. Because it's kind of too much like that, do you think? I don't know. Why do I ask you people? You get me in trouble every time. I think she bought this, pretty sure. It's not raised. It's not through a stencil or anything. I, and I think I saw this on uh, LooseEnds.com. Uh, Oh, that's not the one I got, Kathy. The one set was 100 pages, 8.5 by 11, 80 pounds. And it says sketchbook. So maybe the one I got isn't heavy enough. I know. But it, on the website, I think I actually saw this when I was shopping. And I the only reason I didn't get it was because I think, Xander, you can keep me honest. Yeah, at loose ends. Was this called Hunter Green and Silver? Because I had, I was going to get this one, I believe. Oh, okay. It's probably a different one, uh, Kathy. But they called this Hunter Green, and it is not Hunter Green. Um, but yeah, I think it was called Hunter Green with Silver. So maybe I should just, let's see. Let's just tear something. Good Lord, my husband's talking on the phone. So I can hear him here. It's much prettier than Hunter Green. I'm, I'm not a fan of Hunter Green. Um, 
This is definitely a blue green. Definitely. All right, let's see. Now, as I said, I was going to leave some white space. I'm not. Let's get rid of some of this up there. Maybe I'll just leave a little bit around the edges. And then maybe we can take... Oh, Lord. How am I going to do that? I'm thinking taking a circle of this. Where you see that... Um, Oh, they took a break over the holiday. I think the last time I showed their papers, they got a pretty big hit of orders. They probably needed the rest. She actually emailed me and thanked me. <laughs> oh, mercy. Yeah, we couldn't figure out why everybody were ordering the same papers. Um, I really like some of the bits in this. Seriously, can you guys hear Dave? I think I'm going to make this a jagged edge down here, which will also give me more white space. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I made this... Oh, that's not going to go there. Crap. I made. I took one of my collages, this one, and was messing with it, a picture of it, and was trying to piece it together. And I flipped it upside down so I would make a whole circle out of this bronze bit down here. And I'm working on getting some washi tape produced. And I was thinking about that as one of my... Uh, designs. I tell you, with this small of a book, it's kind of hard to do a collage like I do a collage and leave any white space. Because it's so small. There's a little bit. I really like that one too. I do not like that one. Bad, bad collage. <laughs> if you want to see that one, go back a couple videos. I like this one too. Even though I did collage the whole page and I like that one. I like that one. That one's got some white on it, but that one kind of, that got a little crazy. Oh, there's that damn leaf. Whew, Lordy, there's some white space. There's a little bit of white space. And no white space, and no white space, and white space. Oh, see, I didn't leave it there. I just left it around the other edges. All right, let's get going. So, do I want to do that? Do I want to? No. That one would look good on here. Maybe we'll save that for that one. Maybe I can whip out two tonight. Hey, Marilyn. Yes, you're here live. Let's just start throwing some stuff down. Oh, but you know what? I'm not going to do that yet because I want to put some bit of this in here and I don't know what yet I can never tear this straight I'm pressing like crazy on the ruler oh there see I say never and then I do it I <laughs> speaking of the same kind of a thing my earphone jack my audio jack on my new MacBook Pro Stop working the other day. And I thought, this is not good. I was, I thought, oh, my earbuds finally gave out on me. Or my ear, my little, you know, the little ear phone thingies. Um, I had a Bose set Dave got me years ago that are really nice. And I thought, well, they finally crapped out. And then I thought, well, wait a minute. Is it that or is it my laptop? So I plugged them in my work computer and they work. I thought, uh-oh. So I got another set of headphones and plugged them in my Mac. 
didn't work for a couple of days. And I actually called Apple on New Year's Day, not remembering that it was New Year's Day. And of course they were closed. So I called today. And as I'm on the phone with the tech trying to explain the problem, I get in and put them in and they worked. <laughs> it worked again. I had rebooted. I had done everything I knew to try to do. And all I had to do was get on the phone with Apple. And lo and behold, we were back in business. So I wonder if I'll put a little piece of this. I don't know. Let's just tear a piece off. Let's just tear it and get it going, shall we? I don't want to cover up these too many of these brown bits. Yeah, I'm glad it wasn't anything wrong with the computer. That would not make me happy. Sandra, you might have to, uh, I might have to phone a friend again. This gets away from me. <laughs> I don't know. That's not well on me. I don't know. I like this. I like this black bit in here. All right. Let me, let me think. I don't want to glue this too soon and wish that I would have put something under it. I've made that mistake. I want something black. I know I want something black in there. Don't use the special stamp. Come on, you know you guys love it when I use my special stamp. I could do it, just have a little edge of it sneaking out there. Really? You know, that was totally random. I don't, I don't know how that those things happen. Um, I don't know. Um, got my head in my paper drawer. Give me a give me a moment. I do want something black though. Something black. For some reason, I really like this when I bought it, but I don't think I've ever used it. I punched that out, but I don't think I ever used that circle. <laughs> oh, thanks. What is your name, Function of Light? What's your first name? Hey, Picola. Oh my God. <laughs> gala, gala, gala. White on white. No, thank you. Two off. Oh, Andrea. Thank you. Um, Hang on, let me look at this. Hold the phone. I'm rooting through my drawer of papers. That's kind of too blase, isn't it? Unless I put a little strip down behind that, but then I'm taking out the white. See what happens? It's such a little page. I think I'll do better with that when I get my bigger book. Can you all tell me how you sort and store your jelly prints? Yeah, please do. I've got them all over the place. Oh, that'd be awesome, Rachel. That would be awesome. So Rachel's saying she's getting her equipment ready so she can live stream. You guys ought to click on her uh, three dots next to her name and, and mark her channel because you won't want to miss that. You will not want to miss that. I just need a little piece of, oh, you know what, maybe, how about if, I'm just going to cut it or tear it. I just want a little skinny row, and I'm going to cut this so I get most of these 
whole circles and see what that looks like. If I went over the top of that, kind of between the text, so some of the writing stuck out to get some black in there. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. Hang on. I might use a piece of that. Oh, I gotta get, look at my, maybe I can use a piece of tape. Some of my various pieces of tape. I made these last night. This is a piece of um, paper that uh, Robin coffee stained and sent me. Um, see how hers is kind of like more polka dotty, like drips, and I couldn't get mine to do that. I don't know where I'm going wrong. Oh, I did make a piece of tape out of this one thing that I downloaded, um, Elaine. Eileen, I mean, sorry. Wrong E name. So, but that's not going to go in there. Oh, I did make some white, but it's kind of big. I need to I need to do this smaller so I can get little smaller strips. I mean, I guess I could cut one of those in half and do what with it? See, it's too much vertical stuff going on. Okay, or not. Um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I have another white piece? Going to the bottom, perhaps? No. I do not, okay. Um. Uh-oh, what was cool? I missed it. Tape, is that what you were talking about? Making the blue green script piece slightly thinner. Make this piece thinner? Why would I want to do that? Give me your thinking. I'm not saying it's a bad idea, I'm not seeing your vision. I might make this piece skinnier because I don't want to cover more of that up. The washi tape from the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that was... a. Um, I think they were called borders. And I printed it out and it was, that's all it was, was that little script on my whole piece of paper. And I thought, well, I'm not going to let that... Um, I'm not going to let that... Uh, Go to waste, so I made a piece of tape out of it. Optimus Prime sees nothing. What is this? I'm not sure what you're looking at because we're all looking at something. <laughs> yeah, but that's just the base layer. I can't. I can't just work around that. Pay attention, mods. Um, just in case. So this, if I did that, the blue green plus the base look like Vermont and New Hampshire. <laughs> That's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> so if I do that, maybe I'll go over a little more this way. When you when you don't use this whole small page, it's definitely hard to keep. I'm trying to keep the white space. 
you know, it's definitely a challenge. I'm going to use that frayed bit down there where the black frayed where it was torn before. Hey, Marsha. Let's try that. If I put that there, this is kind of way out there. That's, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. What are you, crazy? I need to get a piece of something in there, though, of... Uh, of this stuff and I might just tear down this little strip here hope Xander doesn't call you until <laughs> oh, she might have to that's a true friend when they see you going awry they drop everything and call you Uh-oh. <laughs> really, Gala? It's kind of reminiscent of my stamp shape, actually. See, I'm covering up more and more of that. Do I want to take a piece this way? Let's see. Just give me one row this way. I might have to go. I have to go this way. See a peg? What if you tear the straight edge of the teal strip part so it's... What if you tear the straight edge of the teal strip? This piece here? I debated about that. That's organic. Lordy. That's a mess. That's kind of like the mountains of New Hampshire. <laughs> uh, so I don't have any of the straight edges on here. Script down the right. Yeah, that's where I was going to go. Let's see. Let's see if April's idea how that works out. I like how some of these pan handmade papers get those little fuzzy edges on them, which you're probably never going to see at this rate. And you, well, you'll just have to trust me that they're fuzzy. <laughs> Who's shoving what? Hey, Sharon. Overlapping the middle. Oops, I saw on this. I'm afraid I'm going to have to kick anyone who suggests you use it. <laughs> oh, what if I go up the middle with this? And that kind of goes like that. And this kind of goes sideways ish. Need something else. <laughs> I probably deserved it. Doesn't matter. Um, or do I put this and I'm covering most of that. Oops, I can't pick it up. Nope. Something makes me feel like this. And from the top. And see, this is too much upsy downsy, don't you think? I 
So I do it like that. <laughs> Judy's going for the wine already. Good Lord. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's the dots that's throwing me off. Hold on a minute. Hold the phone. Let me grab one of my other black and gold pieces. Maybe a little more appropriate for this project. Uh, let's see. All right, let's see what we can pull off of this piece that might be a little better. Oh, Lordy. Oh, you know what else? Hang on. These big sheets are nice, but there are big sheets. <laughs> Hang on. Let me try. Let me look at something here. Remember this little ditty? Wonder if we can do something with that. And maybe even cut it in half. Oh, maybe cut it in half and go the other way. I don't know. Still thinking. Get your quill pen, draw gold circles inside the white polka dots. Ah. Uh huh. Um. All right. What am I looking at here? I want a little. I'm going to go right off the end here and take this little bit right here. This may be just a ticket for something black. All right, brought this whole piece of paper over here to get this. <laughs> oh my! Hey, Matt. All right, where were we? I'm going to come over as far as I can, leaving a little white and more of this showing. And then if I do, oh no. Do I like that? I kind of like some of it to go straight edge across the top and disrupt that clean border. So now if I did something like this, but maybe cut this in half. So I got something like that, or maybe this with more of the gold showing. That's what I'll do. All right, hang on to your teeth. We're going, we're going to cut this rascal right in half. Um, and maybe have that, something like that. But I want something interrupting over here. Is that where I take a little snaggly piece of this and run it down the side? Oh, or maybe do some scripting down the side. Is it still white? Hey, Deb. Um, so when I had my previous MacBook Pro, I used the Logitech app that would let me do all the zooming in and out. I had another little window open down in the corner so that I could pop that up when I wanted to and zoom from that. But my new Mac won't run on the 32 bit um, apps won't run on it. It needs 64. So I'm waiting for Logitech to come out with a 64. And until then, this is my zoom. <laughs> I mean, if I hooked up many cam again, but I haven't, haven't taken the time to bless myself with that one. So hang on. Let, let me, let me, let me think here a minute. Let me. Let 
maybe I should script down the side. If I don't screw it up, that would be great. That would be spectacular if I didn't hose it up. Oh, did Lorna sneak in here? Hey, Lorna. I'm trying to walk like an Egyptian when I do this. All right, let's see what we get here. I see I got a strip script a little smaller than I usually do. Oh, great. Oh, that's kind of disrupted me there. Oh, I get all shaky when I'm when I have to do it. See, I wanted it bolder like that. Oh well, it is what it is. It can't be perfect. It's just scripting, right? You need a lighter thin stripe, not the dark one. You need a lighter thin stripe strip, not the dark one. Oh, that's my mom. Hang on. Yes, I'm call taking my from call from my 91-year-old mother. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Uh, probably around noon, but I'll, I'll confirm that. I also remember we have to pick up your prescriptions tomorrow, too. Yeah, so we got three things we got to do tomorrow. So I think between noon and my appointment at 3, uh, for me, I think we can get all three years done between noon and three. The blood work, the bank, and now pick up the prescriptions and whatever whatever errands you need. So, okay. All right. Love you. Bye. And let me preface this by saying anybody on YouTube that leaves me a message <laughs> saying, how dare you take a call and interrupt my art learning? Uh, Let's see, how do I say this nicely? Piss off. That's my 91-year-old mother. God love you. <laughs> see you, April. Okay, we're going to say another line of script to the left of the one you just did. Like all the way down, like two whole rows of that. Oh, yeah, I, I need to take that call, and I will always take that call. Streaming be damned. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, before I do more of that, I feel like, where'd that piece go? Here. Maybe I need to paint like a bronze circle under here before I put that down. Try a lighter stripe strip instead of the black. I don't know. What color lighter? <laughs> like a piece of this, perhaps, just as an example. Like that. I mean, not this piece, but I mean, I'm auditioning for Eileen. Needs a touch of gold. Oh, thanks for the heads up about the Logitech app. Yeah, Rachel, it's, um, I have to check it and see if they came out with one. But um, yeah, the 32 bit won't run on this. Bronze circle over the corrugate. Mm, I don't know about that. Because that's going to be completely disrupted because of the, you know, all that corrugate stuff. I don't know. Something. I feel something is missing. 
And if I didn't do a strip down there, nope, I need a strip down there. I don't know. And now Jamie's going to side with Eileen. Here we go. <laughs> hey, Sandy. We all like the lighter one. Please don't tell me Eileen's right. Okay, you know what we can do? Um, but what lighter strip? I mean, like a just a piece of this stuff? That's kind of blah. A little blase. I'm telling you, why do I listen to you people? That's, you guys are the ones that got me in trouble the last time. <laughs> <laughs> polka dots with gold in the middle so someone needs to agree with Eileen at least <laughs> I'll let you go on that one Jamie that's too short I need to make it longer I need to grab it from this side I guess this is not long enough I want it to go almost top to bottom of this page I'm tearing this out so I can get to the a little bit of black bits in there. Well, that's too raggedy. See? Now what's happening? See what's happening, Eileen? Do you see what's happening? Yeah. White space. But I, I do like to interrupt that white space border. I really like that on that big one I did. And actually, it's like that on here, too. See where this comes out of this block? This comes lower. I like on the, well, I don't have it down here. It's up on the wall. But um, hang on. I told you. Oops. Oh, my God. Look at my baby girl. <laughs> Look at that little booger. She's so darn cute. I can't stand it. Uh, her picture came up, so, you know. So, if you can see here, I broke out into that white space with the, the scripting, with this gold piece. I let the circle go off the flat edge at the very top. Right? It's crooked in the screen. It's not It's not straight. And I let the scripting come out into this white border. And um, isn't she cute? Oh, my God. She's a little doll baby. And she's just as happy as she can be. <laughs> Look at her top knot, her hair. <laughs> and my brother got her that robe for Christmas. Among about a thousand other things. Doesn't make him a bad person. All right, hang on. Where were we? Oh, yeah, we were doing some art or some semblance thereof. The gold piece is nice. The gold piece is nice. Are we talking about this? That's a little fat right there. Pebbles, yeah. <laughs> oh, you saw Chelsea post on Instagram? Yeah. Now, does that meet everyone's approval? Let's see, you can kind of see through that. That's going to not be so white. Uh, 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 uh. Let me see. Oh, what about a piece of this white scripting down there? I wish this would work, but that will not work. 
All right. See you, Joyce. I missed you even coming in. Thanks for popping in. I need to cut that a little thinner. I like that straggling off the end there. That's going to go a little bit thinner. It brings a little bit more black into it as well. Let me cut some of this little extra fluff off here. I don't want to cover up a whole lot of that green teal paper underneath. All right. Good Lord, look at all these little bits I got everywhere. All right. How about that? I'm just going to glue it before anybody can say anything. <laughs> and then I'm thinking at some point we're going to put a circle in here and then maybe lay that over the brown circle. Let that cut into the font a little bit over here. And maybe call it done. All right, I'm going to start gluing stuff before any of us change our mind, including me. I should be able to have some input after all. <laughs> hey, what's this? Oh, that's a little piece of tape. Where did that come from? Okay. Let's get some stuff glued down, people. All right, put the corget further down the page and not so much in the middle, please. <laughs> that bothered your eye, Jamie. Since you asked so nicely, I'm going to audition it. All right. See the little fuzzies I'm talking about when you tear handmade paper, how that is at the bottom. Will you focus? If I ask you nicely. Well, you can kind of see it. All right. Let's see about this piece. I'm going to take that all the way to the top. That's a little crooked, little cockeyed. And torn at the bottom. And I'm trying to go in this kind of blank lane there so I don't cover up as much of the script. That's what I'm, that's my aim. Whether we make it or not, totally different story. As we all know. Oh, Lord, he's on the phone again. They are putting together a golf trip. The first trip of their year, which I may go on with them again because it's right. Oh, shit. Gail, write me up for one. I might have to put some. Oh, you know what? The circle's good. If I paint a circle, it's going to go right over that boo-boo where I just tore the damn paper. Oh, and you can write me up for that one, too. Okay, um, so down here further, maybe to the bottom of this to cover up that little edge, or do I let that little edge stick out? Does that make you feel better? <laughs> then this is, this is, oh, maybe I'll do something with the pen in here. Sounds shiny. 
<gasps> oh, hang on. I just had me an idea. See this big swirl right there looking at me? Could I capture that with a big piece of this tape, perhaps? Is that a possibility? Ow! Damn, that blade was long. <laughs> Nipped my hand on the other side. <laughs> oh, Gala, 911, if you don't mind. Five. What's five? Okay. Now, as you can see, this is on a carrier sheet, so I have to pick it up this way. But I believe I want to get that center of that circle as best as I can. See, I should have put this underneath of this. Say, that's what I was telling you. I shouldn't do that yet, but no. You let me glue it down. Where's my jelly plate? Let's stick this little bits of that foil on here. I no longer waste any little treasure bits of leaf or foil. So now, see, I shoulda, 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 shoulda. Or maybe, oh, wait a minute, maybe I'll make this smaller. Not looking at chat. This is a very intricate process happening here, people. <laughs> All right, we'll save that for something else pretty. Other than gold foil, what is the foil you are using, Pat? It's um, it's gold leaf. It's a, a a gold leaf that's on a carrier sheet that I get from the UK. They have some really cool patterns. I'm trying to get that a little more circular. So where can I put that? If I do it here. Trying to honor Jamie. <laughs> if I come in a little bit lower with this. I don't know. I kind of like it. Of course, it's like blurring out. It's so shiny on your for you guys. I might just do that. Um, wait a minute. I need a little. All right. You know what? Let's just flip and do it. Oh my, this is going to be tricky. Uh, I might need my Tim Holtz pokey tool. You approve, Eileen? Bless your heart. Now, how am I going to do this without? Well, if I mess it up, I'll cover it up with the corrugate. How about that? How about that? There we go. <gasps> Telling you. Very intricate maneuver. Don't, for the love of God, don't stick to yourself. Drop the pokey. There's my little impression I made in the paper. I'm going to cover that. Well, wherever it dropped is where it's going to go because that is that's some sticky business right there. Oh, 
Well, I'm not going to drag it. I'm going to learn from my last faux pas and just push it down with this. Try to get any boublés out of there. Now, see, I should have put it this side down, but that's kind of looks more distressed, right? We're going to go with distressed. So if I do that, maybe let a little bit of that dirty part, the gold spirals, make it. Oh, good. You're learning something. Yay. Hey, Libby. Oh, thanks. Welcome. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think this, I think this might need something black under it. Just to stick out a little bit to frame that. Back to my black and gold. I don't know. See what that would look like. This doesn't need to be that long. I can tear that one like that. <laughs> I didn't like a little pop of black, Eileen. I'm not lying. Put this away before I impale myself. All my mods know to have their cell phones dialed 9-1, so they only have one digit to push. Should there be a big white flash or something else happen? You never know. I don't know. Let's see. Can I do something with this now? It's getting kind of heavy here with this. If I do the corrugate too, I don't know. Like it needs to be smaller black. No, I need black under there. It's too, it doesn't pop out. Look, it's like just there. There's nothing. Pow. You know what I mean, Vern? Hang on, let me try something. I got me an idea. Hang on. This maybe? I'm not even going to show you what I'm doing until I do it. Hang on. Phone to phone. Just see what this looks like. That's a little wonky. If I do that. I don't know. I need something. Oh, my. Oh, hang on a minute. What's this? Oh, hell. Um. Actually, the back of this is just black.
thin strip of the gold with the black in the middle of the corrugate. Under it. Now. Maybe I need to rough up this edge. I need to fuzz up this edge instead of that straight edge sticking out there, maybe. Very tedious work you're having me do. Here I am just sitting alone in my little basement. People around the world are yelling at me, tell me what to do. <laughs> oh, it's a collaboration. That's the way I like to work. Corrugate needs to be smaller and offset from the goal, not directly lined up with it. Oh, Lord. That's a whole nother venture. This paper is tougher than it looks. <laughs> I don't know. I like the black, but I'm, I'm I don't know. Do we chat? Chat till you have it all glued down. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what I should do, CB. Gotta get more of this reddish paper off of here. And kind of deter that shape that Gala likes so much. <laughs> Let me get a little bit of this off of here. I do like it come out wider at the bottom now. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see. 111 people are on. I get a, about 98 opinions <laughs> to sort through. Oh, my. I love you guys. I'm trying to let some of these swirls show. That's why I'm pushing this over here. Hang on. I'm not looking at chat right now. While I figure out what the hell I'm doing. I don't know. <laughs> That's why it's on there, Eileen. Just for you. The only problem is, I think this is going to be really thick with this piece and this piece. They're both thick papers.
I kind of like that ish but I do like this piece maybe this piece maybe tear more of this off <laughs> Glue it down. <sighs> uh. Uh. I don't like that on there. Maybe cut this shorter. Or, or, let's see, that needs something underneath of it. That's too much like those things that doesn't pop. There's no such thing as overdoing the script. <laughs> this is kind of a wonky rectangle. Might have to take that to the paper cutter. So what if I did... See, the font's going that way, though. guys are drinking. Ah, I love it when I make you that crazy. What did you miss? Oh, Lord. Oh, April, April, April. Where do I even start with these people? I kind of like that little frayed, junky piece of black under there, I think. There's a there's your piece of black you wanted, Eileen. <laughs> or do I make the gold strip narrower? Like maybe have these with the black strip under the oh, I don't know. Are we back there? No. Not talking to me as much. See, I had it first. Now I got to go back and look at my own recording to see where I had it before I had 98 opinions. <laughs> Not that I don't appreciate you guys. Move the black strip up some. So just a thin line of it shows. I don't know. I'm thinking this should maybe go that way. Put the coin I gave you on the cork. It. Oh. Or in the middle of this, maybe. I wonder how that's. This paper's pretty thin. I don't know if that's going to hold all that. Hey, it's all about the black strip minus script and more yapping. More yapping. <laughs> Yaping. <laughs> Get rid of the gold piece. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get rid of the gold piece. Then what happens to my little black strip?
either no matter what happens, that black strip's going down there, just where I lean. <laughs> Maybe if we do this and break up that with that. And put that like that. Huh. <laughs> but I don't have any of my little words in there. My little... Uh, well, this is the same kind of stuff. I guess that counts. All right. Good God. This is exhausting when I have people on here with me. <laughs> I can whip one of these out in a few minutes when I'm by myself. I got to blame it on somebody, so it's going to be you guys. I don't remember where I had this exactly. Well, it's exactly going here. How about that? <laughs> and this. Is that crooked? Wouldn't that. Just be about right. We ought to do, set a timer and see how quick I can do one. <laughs> it would be very boring. Patty, can I ask you a question? Of course you may. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> oh, crap. So now after all this, this is the gold. Remember this, the gold corrugate with the gold foil on it? That's really slick. Watch this thing not even stick for me. <laughs> Oops. Glue booger. All right. Let's see. Where's that going to go? Well, you know what? That's where it's going to go. Right there. A blind six. I don't even know what that is, Eileen. Hang on. I'm going to walk around the table looking for something for a minute. Oh, sweet Mary. Why am I all jacked up today? I missed my meds yesterday. That probably screwed me up. Um, Probably missed two days in a row of that meloxicam because I only take it every other day. Close your eyes and pick six papers and use them. Sweet Jesus. I can't do it with my eyes open. Are you crazy? You know, I wonder if I should nip these little tags off of here and just glue that. I think that's what I need to do. I just happen to have a little pair of wire cutters right here. Takes me and my eyes and, and 111 pair of other eyes to get one of these done. <laughs> you want me to do it blind? Great. I might do it. I don't know.
So maybe right where that gold comes up. There's this little Chinese coin that Xander sent me in my box of goodies. <laughs> this is what you get, Taylor. Like it or lump it, it is what it is. These girls will tell you. I'm the same whether I'm here by myself or everybody's here with me. I'm an acquired taste. Let's just say that. There we go. Got more of that bump off of there. Okay. All right. Now I think I'm going to need to put a little of this glue on here. Oh. All right, I don't know how well this is going to hold, but we're going to try it right there. I'm going to hold it down for a minute. A gold circle to go. Oops. <laughs> Missed it by that much, see? Pin the tail on the donkey. Oh, that's what we need. People will lose their mind trying to direct me. <laughs> it actually has a little piece of the gold stripe underneath of it showing through a little bit. Oh, hell. I don't know if that's going to hold it or not. I'll probably have to spend the rest of the stream holding this here. I should have used uh, like E6000 or something. And I feel like... I feel like there's a little something something up here that's with just this paint layer here and squared off. That feels weird to me. Not sure I like that. I might have to plug in one of my pens and do something up there. That's what I'll do. All right, let me get rid of some of these little scrappy bits all the way over the place here. Oh, there's my car, my pen. For my jar. Like threading a needle. Hey, Gina. I'm happy you caught us live, too. You just missed quite, quite the cluster. <laughs> oh, my. All right, so let me grab one of my pens. Which one shall I use? The calligraphy one? That wasn't, I had a little trouble with this last time I tried it, but we'll, we'll give it another go. Got to unplug my computer. Remind me I did that. If I put more black on this page, Eileen's going to have a seizure. <laughs> All right. So now what do I want? Oh, you know what I could do? Instead of doing that, maybe I just emboss something up there. I like to connect down in there. Oh, I think that's what I'll do. I think that's what I'll do. All right, the pen. Putting a pen away. Um, now, which embossing powder, pray tell, shall I use? I really like this now. Put the coin on top with Finn's wax. I know, I thought about that, Z. Oop. 
I like that corrugate with that patinaed stuff in there. And some of the gold of it, the gold corrugate shining through. Hang on, let me take another walk. <laughs> Going to the dark side. <laughs> um. The dropsies over here dropping everything I pick up. Oh. Okay. Patty, look at the stamp you embossed earlier and see what color would look good. Oh, I mean, just when I think you're going crazy, you have a good idea. <laughs> Let's see. That's more of the same color that's on there, right? I don't know. Maybe the Taos Sunset. Am I saying it right now? Taos? Patty, maybe use your hand stamp in the top area. My hand stamp. My. Do you mean my hand carved one? I think the red will pull out a little bit of this red in here. Uh, and it's not really red. It's reddish. Yeah, let's go for a statement embossing. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, mercy. Hang on. Let me put my glue stick away. My name stamp. Oh, my, um, my chop. I did see those, Rain. Um, I mean, um, sorry, Rachel. Um, I did see those. And actually, I ordered two of them. I have two or three I have in the way. Of course, Eileen ordered the whole set. See, I finally got it. Taos, like blouse and house and mouse. Not like cow and how and now. <laughs> um. Oh, and you know what? I have some, I have washi tape that are chops too. Um, oh, Lord, can I even get into that drawer? Where I'm, and that's kind of little. That's kind of little. Um, I think I need something bigger there. The round one in red. My concentric circles. Just that. I think it might be too much like this. I like, I kind of like this one where it's going to have a circle in it, but kind of go down a little bit too. So, and then I'm going to use my sunset. Yeah, I got a couple. I didn't, I'm trying not to go as crazy as I used to go. And I see you're giving me two symbols now, Judy. It's never too big, Eileen. No, not if I drop it down there. Well, we're going to see how big it is. <laughs> it's too big. No, use a cess stamp. Don't use a cess stamp. It's a wonder I don't need therapy. 
Oh, hell, my stickies. How do you get this to stick again when it doesn't sticky anymore? I'm going to tape it down there probably at some point, but I just need to get this one. Oh, crap. It's not going to work. Okay. So we're just going to do it the hard way. Clean the block. See you, Devin. Thanks for stopping in. Drop it like it's hot. Oh, I dropped it, of course. So I'm hoping that... Um, that is pretty dirty on there, actually. Dirty stamp holder. Um, I hope it doesn't buckle this glue under this tape. <laughs> Wouldn't that just really hack me off? But that's okay. I've been hacked off before, not over it. Is this the one I glued on? No. You tell them, Amalia. <laughs> I'm going to change my channel name to What Not to Do in Mixed Media. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. Put my heat gun in. <laughs> Somebody has to. All right. There we go. Whoop. You know what? That started to crackle on. I'm going to crackle the whole thing. All right, now I I went with the old silver Z. This is these are available in Xander's shop. These are the Finnabar um, wax. Um, what's it called? It's like it's a wax. Oh, Lord, of course, it's in another language, but it's it's a a wax that you put on to highlight different areas. I will show you. And they smell like you want to eat them. Some of them smell really bad, like some kind of petroleum product. The treasure golds are like that. They're nice, but they're, oh, they're strong. Put a little bit on your finger. I'm going to tap some of that off since this is so small. So see the coin before? Hello? There we go. And then I'm just going to try to hit the high points just a little bit. Now you can see that a little bit, a little bit clearer. I didn't hit all the points. They're kind of fine, so I'm going to let that go. I'm not going to put too much on there. I'm not sure if that was the right color to use anyway, but. Look, the gold I have looks like it would have been too similar to what it was. I'm going to try to take a little extra off of there. Not sure about this. I like the stamp, but the color, not 100% sure of. But you know what? There she is. It is what one of my old rednecks friends used to say, color me done. But I like this embossing powder. One direction it looks really red and orange. Oops, bump the camera. Oopsie. And then you turn it and you see see that gold flashing on there. Mama likes some color shift. 
I can't. Hey, when is his? When are his um, Cess paints coming out with the color shift stuff on them? So, are you still offended by the black streak, um, Eileen? <laughs> I can live with that. I'm going to drive to Boca and slam you. <laughs> After all that, turned out great. <laughs> you know, I'm kidding. I love you. Um, oh, I should have done this one first because now I, well, I didn't know I was going to do that coin. Now the coin's underneath of there. Oh, God, do we dare do a second one? See you, Taylor. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> oh, CB. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's exhausting. I might need to go to the spa or something after that. Still want to use this, though. I'm going to somewhere, somehow. What time is it? Nine o'clock. When did I start? 6 30. So I say eight, two and a half hours. That's not bad. So what do we want to do now? What do we want to do? The bar's up, but do another one. Are you half on your butt? Oh, like a tracing? Kind of a little impression there. You probably can't see it. There's a light circle there. Um, huh. Do we dare try to in one sitting with this group? Sweet Moses. Um, oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Maybe I can force myself to get to use this tape. I've been wanting to do that. I have a big piece and a little piece of it. And I seem to have lost a little piece. Let's pull out some little bits that might work with that. I need a better, a better basket situation here. Maybe something smaller. This is just a little uh, cheap um, artist loft book from Michaels. It's a five by seven, I think. It's just artist loft. Oh, here it is. Dirt. Oh, five and a half by eight. I misspoke again. <laughs> I do need a bigger basket other than this little dinky one here. I really, really do. Um, oh, here's that. I don't blame you, Dot. You better get to bed. It's late, girl. Good Lord. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. You crazy party and maniac, you. Good night. Joan, if you gotta go, we won't hold it against you. Um, I keep this out in case I need a little pop of black in there. Night, Rachel. Thanks for dropping in. Let me know if you need help with your uh, camera setup, assuming I can help you. <laughs> that might be a stretch, but, you know, we'll try.
um, I'm just looking through here for a little little bits and bobs of stuff. Oh, here's that other piece of that circle. Here's a little chunk of that bar top I took a picture of. Little piece of that. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I have these. Remember I did all these little things with black and bronze on them? That's where they are. <laughs> really? Just did a couple. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about it, Eileen. I'm just trying to stretch it out to keep you guys here longer with me. <laughs> oh, that's kind of a cool piece. All right. Let me gather my cool pieces. All right. What do we have here? Let's get this stuff out of the way. I do want to try to incorporate that. That's what I'm going to base this one on. Nope. I don't know. That little bit might show up somewhere. You never know when you need a little thumb. A little thump thump in there. Um, but let's look at this. If I did that, and left some of that in there. You know what? That's really different from what I've been doing. I think I'm going to do that. Just start there and see what happens. And it's still, I'm covering the white space, but I'm covering it with a lot of white showing through. So I won't consider that a foul <laughs> yet. <laughs> oh, here we go. Lord of mercy. Maybe I gotta lose that little guy up there. Maybe you get my circle kind of in the middle. I can live with that. Um, Judy, it's a um HP Envy photo uh 7855, which by the way is jammed up. I gotta deal with that later. <laughs> Oh, it's probably Eileen's fault in some way, somehow. I'm sure she had something to do with that faux pas. I really do believe it. All right, let's get rid of some of this crap. Crappity crap crap. Out of my way. See, if I use this, though, I lose this. We'll use that at a later date, maybe. Well, and I don't. I don't know. That's too big. Too big. Possible. 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 Oops. 
so sure. Laugh now, Eileen. Tonight, when I, when I sign off and I'm trying to elbow deep into my printer, trying to uh, unjam it, I'll be saying pretty things to you. Because I'm sure you had something to do with it. I don't remember what, but it almost had to be. Hey, Mayra. Welcome to the loony bin. This tissue paper is really difficult to glue down with a glue stick. It's fragile. Gail likes it when I talk French. All right, let's see if we can get this down without hosing it up too awfully much. Why I sign up for two of these, I do not know, but, you know, what the hell. We're in it now. Oops, oops, oops. Telling you. And since it's mixed media, we can call all these lumps texture. Hey, Norma. Yeah, still here. Don't know why. <laughs> call me crazy. As many do. All right. Step one. Of 483. That's too much scripting, just like the other scripting. All right, let's see. Patty, did the printer jam with the onion skin? I have a technique to avoid jams. Uh, no, it jammed with tracing paper that I coffee stained was a little crinkly. Crunchy paper is that. Uh, oh, I don't know which one you were talking about. This one? It's kind of crunchy. You put it on a carrier sheet, Regina? I never had any luck with that. This is, it's just called, this is what it is. It's just ultra thin pages made with recycled paper. But on Etsy, I saw one Etsy shop selling this stuff. It's got stripes in it. See that, wait a minute. See the stripes kind of subtle in the paper? And she was calling it onion skin, but it is not onion skin. Tape it to another piece of paper. Okay, so when you do that, do you tape it just a little piece here and a little piece there or all the way against the edge that goes in first? Or how do you guys tape it? I'm going to wait for that answer because apparently I don't know how to tape that. <laughs> no, that's too. See, the only thing about this crap. Oh, that would look kind of interesting. Which is half of that with that little bronze bit going down the middle. I'm kind of completing the circle. That's not really a circle. Tape the leading edge all the way across. Use a small piece of scotch tape with washi a bit on the leading edge. Huh. Well, if I ever get this unjammed, I'm going to give that a try. All right. Oops. Well, what the hell did I do? <laughs> Wait a minute. 
Oh, okay. I was looking at this, not making a circle. It's the black that makes the circle. Lord have mercy. I'd be afraid of using washi tape. But does it come off the other paper if you use scotch tape? Doesn't it mess up your paper when you take it out and try to separate it? An Enso circle. I don't even know what that is. Spray the carrier paper with pixie spray. Lay down the onion skin. Spray the end going to the printer. Huh. And it doesn't, I guess it doesn't gum up your printer over time. Well, I don't know why, but I'm going to tape that down. I mean, glue it down. Not on there long enough. That didn't sound good. I'm going to need to pull the paper tray out of there and see if I can get it out of there in one piece. Oh, Lordy. Lordy, Lordy. Get off of there. Get off of there. I'm going all the way over. Close enough, but I wanted it wonky, so wonky will get. Use a glue stick, let it dry before running it through. Judy, it is there along. I did. I bought some pixie spray. I have that. I do have it. So now do I want to cut that craft, some of that craft out of there a little bit? I can cover up most of that craft by doing that. Do I want to do that though? I might just do that. I don't know yet. I don't know. Look at that perfect little bronze half circle. All right, works great to get two passes with one spray on the carrier sheet. Oh, huh. very interesting. Nope. Do I want to put it down here or do I want to use it at all? That's the question. I don't know. It looks a little awkward down there, doesn't it? I'm not asking Eileen. <laughs> oh, mercy. Just as awkward. Too much. But I will use this for something. Oh, look at this little ditty. Oh, I see I, I embossed on that a little bit. Or did I... Just stamp it with gold ink. I think it just stamped with gold ink, actually.
I don't know if I'll use that or not, but. I'll keep it handy in case I do. I don't know about the stripe going down here, but I'm going to do it because I'm going to use this tape if it. It's the last thing I do tonight. I'm going to use this piece of tape. But do I want to put it down now and put something over it? Or. Too much alike. Oh. What am I going to use you for? Maybe. I don't know. I'm just playing now, Eileen. Don't get too panicky. Don't get too crazy. Put these away. Now, what do we got here? Eileen, you know how I like my little pop of black in there somewhere. I don't like that, though. Don't like it. Or. No, 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 no. I'm going to have to go to the drawer. Oh, I think I had an idea pass through my little head for a moment there. Now I gotta remember where where did I put that paper? Oh shoot I just I knew oh I know what it is. Okay. I knew what I wanted to use and then that quick I forgot what it was. <laughs> Great. And now I just gotta find it. Uh, where are you? Where are you? I had it out earlier. Put it over here in the other stack. There you are. This has kind of the right blue in it to match up with that, doesn't it? Maybe we punch a little circle to go. What are we going to do with that? It's always Eileen's fault, Gala. And look at it this way. If it's not Eileen's fault, it's probably yours. So let her let her take the brunt of that. <laughs> oh, God bless you. Um, huh. I don't know. Here, here we go with a punch. Because I can make it smaller if I have to, but I just I want to get some of the variety of color. Maybe just this little area over here. Ooh, that's a big circle. Oh, look, it actually cut. What do you know? All right. Let's see. Or do we want a little strip of this? This one tears really pretty. See that real ragged edge on there? I like those. Made in Thailand.
It actually has dolphins on it. See his little head there? Kind of cut his tail off. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Well, let me go this way. I don't know. And cut that off center like that. And then what? I don't know. Looking at when I look at my book, it's like ant, eh, but then when I look at the screen, I thought, like, hell, it ain't bad. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm not gonna give it much thought. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. I want it to be a little offset like that. So I want to go right about there. All right, okay. Kind of got an idea. Oh, but what do I, which side do I want to go on? That side's kind of pretty too. This is a little darker. Or is it? I don't know. I'll go with the textured side up and assume that's the right way to be using the paper. Patty, if you use two circles of blue, I will pass out. Good to know. <laughs> That's one way to get her to stop, make her pass out. Actually, I hate to admit it, but most of Eileen's opinions are usually good or ideas are usually good. I just feel as though I have to harass her most of the time. I think she likes it, actually. All right, so this, I'm going to put this kind of like this, keep some of that white on the bottom. I don't know, do I want this somewhere? I don't know. Just thinking. Don't anybody go crazy. Not yet. <laughs> oh, you would like that, Eileen. I know it. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Huh. <laughs> another gate. Can we take another gate? Oh, yeah, yeah. Or do I want this? That's oh, too much of that white right there. I don't know. Still thinking. I love this blue color here. I kind of like another layer going through there. You know what? A new year, I'm just going to start throwing them down there, baby. We'll see what happens. We'll abandon my thought process. And just let, of course, I made that too short. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to put that bad boy right there. I'm going to do it. Oh, quite frankly, I'm getting a little tired. <laughs> so we will just glue a few things down here. Hope for the best. And buy jiggities. Oh, I got to get a piece of my patina stuff down. Uh oh. I don't. Do I have any more with that blue on it? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Hey, Claire. 
Maybe that's no accident, Judy. It's Eileen. <laughs> you said, oh, you said unstable internet. I just thought you said unstable. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder if I have another little bit of that. Hang on. That patina paper I did with the blue. Or, oh, that's kind of crappy looking now. I don't like how this, I don't know why that blue did that. On this new piece I did. And I know I don't have to use a piece of the patina paper. However, I kind of committed to making all the collages in this book with a little piece of this stuff. So, oh, maybe I should do something with the rust instead of worrying about the blue or the silver. See, the turquoise is too turquoise. I thought I had another little piece of the blue. I do have this that I just did the other day, but it's kind of crappy looking the way that blue came out. Let me try something with that and see if I can make something work with that. Hang on. Now we might have to go with the silver. <laughs> Hmm. Man, that is a holy mess. But that does bring the blue in. Huh. Well, let's just tear this off here. Let's get this out of the way. We're not going to use that one with that lime green in it, that's for sure. <laughs> I make <laughs> oh ladies, ladies. <laughs> um maybe just a little piece of this going this way. Wow, that's really funky looking now. Gosh darn. Oh, I should have tore it the other way. Ah. I don't want all that red showing. Ugh. I don't like that piece at all. Ah. Maybe we have to go with some silver. And now, you know what? After I did this, hey, Gilly. I remembered um, why this didn't work because the silver paint only works with the darkening spray, not the blue or the green and the swell again. So it didn't do anything. It's just kind of silver paint behind the, but you know what? Let's just, let's just get a little strip of this. And let's take a little piece of this. And it's kind of silver and gold, so you can't really go wrong with that, right? All right, where can I put this? Then it will make a little more sense if I put this here. That really doesn't make sense, does it? It's too many verticals. Unless I overlap it. <sighs> or... Do I take one that's two rows wide? Nightsy, thanks for hanging in. I 
don't know. Do I want to do a little square of this? Like maybe like this instead. I just put a little square up here. Maybe I'll do that. Nine thirty. Three hours, people. Uh, nope. Uh, 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 maybe there. I don't know. It doesn't look right anywhere. Well, that's not good. How about just this silver streak? <coughs> Is Patty aware that of that download? Maybe it would help her. Of what download? Hang on. The G Hub and Capture wouldn't zoom, but the old software bottom of download page does. The G Hub and Capture wouldn't zoom, but the old software at the bottom of the download page does. Oh, I don't know any of those. What is it, um, Deb? Maybe if I just get a streak of this in here, even if it's right here. Well, I'm putting this down. This is going down or bust. That's the whole reason I'm torturing myself doing two of these. G-Hub is for gaming. The old software, which is, what's the old software? I did have an app, Judy, that I used, a Logitech app, but my new MacBook Pro doesn't support 32-bit apps. So, I cannot use it. One more piece going down. Going right against the edge of that craft paper. Oh, did it? Oh, it's stuck already. Okay, all right. Well, go ahead and stick there. It's okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe what I'll do. Debbie says it's at the bottom of the download page. The download page of what page? <laughs> I don't know where you mean that, that that is. I don't know where you mean where that is. I don't know what that means. G Hub is for a mouse. Is it? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea what G Hub is. On the Logitech site. Oh, but the old. I, I have to check it again, but I'm pretty sure that that's. Uh, one of the 32-bit um, app that I used to use, which worked like a charm. However, not so much with this one. Oh, mercy. Oh, crap. Yeah, I will take a look at it. Well, that piece is stuck in there forever. There we go. No, it's not. It's a miracle. I wonder if I put that over like that. 
Or do I need to break something up up here? No, 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 no. Maybe. No. Maybe there. Trying to let some of that darker blue show and some of this black show there. Maybe right there. Capture may work for you. You know, I've never used that. I don't even know what that is, but I'll look it up. I'll try anything. It's really not handy uh, without a zoom. Because I'd like to have you in closer. Hang on. Let me at least straighten the camera. How about that? Look at that. Wow, we're straighter. Um, I have the camera dropped. I have a monopod hanging over. Oops, that I just hit. Hanging overhead. And it, it, it extends, you know, lower or higher. And I used to have it much higher than this, out of the range of my head hitting it. Because it's right, well, you can't tell how high this is off the desk. But it's not that far off the desk. Um, so if I lower it any further, I'm going to be bashing my head into it all the time. Capture may work for you. It's a new software. Okay. All right. I'll give that a, I'll give it a try for sure. I would love me some Zoom action. I do have to try Minicam again. Because the whole reverse... Oh, now I got this cockeyed again. See what happens? Um, everything's still backwards. Right is left and left is right. With many cam, it flipped it. So what I see is what you see. I see the opposite of what you see right now. Um, which makes it awkward when I have to zoom by holding something up to the camera. When I hold it and it's not in the center and I go to move it, I'm moving my hand to the right. My right hand, I'm moving it to the right this way. On the camera, on my screen, I try to show you. This is going to be a cluster. Watch this. See, here it is in my hand. Can you see my screen? Maybe. I'm showing it here, but it's moving the opposite way. See what it's doing on the computer screen behind me? Total pain in the too. So, um, yeah, that's not not great. I might put a little black strip in there just for Eileen. Might need a little a little something in here. This gold is too yellow with that bronze. I know it's tricky, Judy. Every everything I do, like this to me looks like I'm using my left hand and picking up scissors in my left hand and I'm right-handed. So it's it's bass backwards. Everything is very tricky. What if I did that just to I'm gonna cut that off before that blue right there. It's a, it's a little, it's a little much. I got to tell you, I'll make you Ralph. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I'm getting more used to it. The more I've had to use that and I've had to do that since I had this new computer. Um, actually since before then, um, when many cams stopped working with YouTube um, for a while there, I lost it and um, haven't quite gotten it back yet. Let me get this stuff out of here. This is driving me crazy. It's too much, too much clutter. <laughs> All right. Maybe that's why I'm getting cross-eyed and more tired. I don't use any software. My camera's plug, plug and play. That's it. 
that's it. I plug her in and go. Oh, here's this little bit. Should I drop that in there somehow, some way, somewhere? Oh, my other Mac that I, I traded it in, actually, and got, it was five years old. It was in good shape. There was a lot of paint on that keyboard <laughs> that I had to try to deal with, but I got $400 for it, so I didn't think that was bad for old Bessie. I don't know, 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 my brain's not working anymore. This stuff gets pretty clear when you glue it, but some folks are using live stream. There's another one I see, but can't remember. Why, I don't understand why they need a software I just hit go live in my YouTube channel, have my camera plugged in, and kaboom, I'm there. I don't use any any other software. StreamYard is one that people are streaming with now, if that's what you're talking about. Huh, I don't know. I don't know. Do you know if anybody that uses StreamYard has any issues with um, trolls controlling them, making people mods? Isn't there something about that they can't, you can't mod as many people and there's trouble booting them? I'm tired of looking at that. I'm gluing that bad boy down right there. StreamYard is a separate program that you use, kind of like Zoom, where you can do a video conference and you can have multiple people um, on screen at the same time, but it flips the screen correctly. But I don't know what other issues there might be with it as far as controlling the, you know, like how Eileen sneaks in here and nobody ever boots her out. Uh, mods go through YouTube like always. Oh, no mod troll streamyard. No mod troll streamyard issues works the same. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. I know I've heard some people say that they don't care to watch. Um, StreamYard when there's multiple people streaming. It doesn't bother me. We do video conferences like that at work all the time. Of course, they're not doing art. <laughs> oh, mercy. I don't know. My brain's too tired to think anymore. I think we're going to call that done. I don't know. I feel like it needs something. See, that's the problem for me, Kathy, because when you send the link via email, I don't, I, I mean, that's a pain in the butt to have, to keep a maintain, maintain a list of emails for everybody. I mean, today there was 120 some people on here. The other day it was 130 some people on here. Um, that and a lot of them just are popping in because they finally see it live and just jump in. That are new names um, that then start to be regulars. 
Um, I don't know how, I think that would be a pain to put a, put a, um, you know, send out an email all the time. To me, it seems like more work. I'd use that one on the end if I didn't already rip it up. Rip the end off of it from before. Yeah, the, for me to maintain an email list and send it out every time, that ain't going to happen. I got maybe when I retire, but <laughs> that's like another job to me. I don't know. Yes, no. Let's go with yes. <laughs> no guess, then no need to share a link. It works just like YouTube. Yeah, I know you can do it by yourself. I it was, didn't realize that it works with mods and stuff like YouTube. I don't know who told me that or where I saw that or read it. But somebody was saying that you can't control the Great, great. Did I miss a thing? I see somebody answering Regina. Where did I just see that? <laughs> Easier than just using YouTube. Oh, cool, Kathy. I might take you up on that one of these days. Sharing the screen, not the audience. Judy O. Oh, yeah, Robin McClendon. It's Robin with the Y, Judy. Yep, yeah, she is awesome. Yeah, there's a fine line, Judy. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Janice. Happy New Year. Oh, my goodness. All right. I think my brain is sufficient, sufficiently kaput. It looks a little off there, doesn't it? Does it? Oh, you got to look, uh, you got to scan down her channel, Judy. You'll, you'll see it. Or just go to her channel and then the search box at the top, put in intuitive scripting. She has one whole video where she explains it and how she does it and demos it with different uh, brushes. And um, inks and paints and stuff. Some of it's just scattered in. I don't know. brain won't even work anymore. Yes. No. Yes. Eileen, what do you think? Oh, cool. Sideways. 
We have the brushes you use. Do you like them? Which ones are they? Leave the black square. Leave it off or leave it on. Turn it upside down. Interesting. Keep the black. Hey, Mary. I'm gonna. I'm gonna glue this bad boy down there. Oh, wrong page. My poor husband probably thinks I've abandoned him, although he never says a word to me. God bless him. Um, he's gonna go to work in the morning, and he gets up at four, four ten. So he's gonna be itching to go to bed pretty soon. Okay, back. Oh shoot, I wrinkled it. Take it off. Too late. <laughs> oh. All right. Let me put that on there. Let me get these bits out of here and back into the little scrap jar. Um, what were we saying? How about the, oh, the brushes. Sorry. I brought a new thing there. I'm telling you. Squirrel. These I got from, um, this is like Robin's that she uses. Um, it's made by the same guy. She got hers like 15 or 20 years ago. Um, hey, Michelle. Um, I'm trying to think of his name. Tracy Lebenzon. I think it's L-E-B-E-N-Z-O-N. -E -E he now has a website. He just came out with the website couple months ago maybe if that long ago this one is what i do most of the stuff with and this is a small elk hair that's elk hair and it comes to a point that is um maybe like one or two hairs i mean it's a real fine point i don't even know if this isn't going to focus you're never going to see it there you go see how fine that point is i mean it's fine and it's made out of bamboo and you can tell him uh, what length, because you'll see when you look at the site, all the brushes, there's different hairs and stuff and different um, handles. Um, his. Um, hmm. Oh, it'll say you can get a four to an eight inch handle. And I ask him for an eight inch handle because I have big hands and a four inch handle is half of that. That would, wouldn't even you know, fit right in my hand. And all my other brushes that I was used to are about that long. So you can specify the length of the handle that you want, but the size of the bamboo, um, there's different ones like this one. This one is goat hair and synthetic mixed. And it comes out to a razor point as well. It's thicker than this one. And you know what? I can't remember, but I think it's still a small, but when you see the thicker, straighter bamboo like this, um, it's a completely different, uh, see the difference? And this one is straight, but it's still some kind of bamboo. But they're they're really nice. They hold a lot of uh, ink. And um, they, they give you the ability to get the thin and thicker lines as you use them. I don't think that'll work. Too good, Monique. <laughs> They're not cheap. This one was cheap. This one cheap-ish for a handmade brush. This one I th with the synthetic and goat, I think, was $25. I think this one was like $70. So it's an investment. But Robin's been using hers for, she said, 15 to 20 years. Um, and he's actually coming to a show. They do a really high-end... Uh, it's the American Craft Council, and they do a show in February in Baltimore, and he's going to be there. Guess who else is going to be there? <laughs> that would be me. Yeah, so, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm, I'm pooped. Eileen wears me out. <laughs> so here's where we ended up with this one. You know, not my favorite, but it's done. I was dying to use this washi tape, so I used these papers to kind of go with it. And pull that blue out of there. Trying to keep some white space. 
this is the first one we did today. I do like this. One. I don't dislike the other one. It's just, I wouldn't say it's one of my all-time favorites. All right, and we did some embossing on there with some Seth's powders. I made some tape out of a sheet of foil, uh, sorry, gold leaf. Um, this is a piece of corrugate that was gold foil corrugate that I used the patina paints and activators over it. And a little Chinese coin that Xandra sent me. All right, so there we go. All right, kids, mama got to go. I'm going to have a big martini for Eileen. I'm just, just kidding. I wouldn't be able to walk to the bedroom if I did that. I'm such a cheap drunk. I always used to tell Dave when we were dating, hey, a half a wine cooler and a hot dog, I'm all yours. <laughs> oh, yeah. For a big girl, I have no tolerance for alcohol. Anyway, uh, all right, kids. Thanks, mods. I appreciate it. And uh, big girls calling it a night. I'm hoping to stream. Uh, gosh, we got stuff to do Saturday and Sunday. Um, oh, and my my little three year old uh, great nephew, Chelsea's little boy. It turns three on the sixth, actually. But we're having a little party for him on Sunday. And that's the one that um, you guys know that know me know about my sister and all Janine that we lost. That's Janine's grandson, uh, Chelsea's mother, um, which you've heard me talk about. I like mermaids. That's why, because Janine's a mermaid. Her ashes are in the ocean. Um, we bury her ashes at sea, and so we call her a mermaid. But anyway, Owen, Chelsea's son was born on Janine's birthday, January 6th. So how crazy was that? And the, and the baby nurse that was in the room with us when she delivered, she came in and she said, hi, I'm going to be the baby's nurse. My name is Janine. <laughs> and of course it is. Anyway, there you go, kids. Mama's out. Catch you next time. <laughs>